Good day everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are looking at fractions. Addition of fractions, subtraction of fractions, multiplication of fractions, and division of fractions. Let's take a look at the definition of fraction. A fraction is the number obtained when one number denominator is divided by another number the denominator. The fraction 2 over 3 means 2 divided by 3. Now addition of fractions. To add fractions, we change them to equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Let's take a look at this example. Simplify 11 over 12 plus 5 over 6. To do this, we are to change them to equivalent fraction first. Now 11 over 12 is the same thing as 11 over 12 plus 5 over 6. Now our 5 over 6 now, we change this 5 over 6 to uh, equivalent fraction which is 10 over 12. The next thing to do is to add the numerators which is 11 and 10. 11 plus 10 will give us 21. As you can see, they have a common denominator which is 12. Now 11 plus 10 gives 21 over 12. And we have to simplify this further. How many uh, 3 can we get in 21? It's 7. How many 3 can we get in 12? 4. So this gives us uh, 7 over 4. And we can still go further. How many 4 can we get in 7? 1. Remains what? 3 over 4. So 7 over 4 is the same thing as 1 whole number, 3 over 4. So the answer to 11, plus 11 over 12 plus 5 over 6 will give us 1 whole number, 3 over 4. Now you can try this exercise, which is 3 over 4 plus 7 over 10. Now, subtraction of fractions. To subtract fractions, we change them to equivalent fractions with a common denominator, like we did in addition of fraction. Let's take a look at this example. Simplify 2 over 3 minus 3 over 5. We have 2 over 3 minus 3 over 5. To change them to equivalent fractions, 2 over 3, which uh, we change to 10 over 15. You know, this out is done. If you cross it, 2 multiplied by 5 will give us 10. And 3 multiplied by 3 will give us 9. So that gives us 10 over 15 minus 9 over 15. And 10 minus 9, since they have the same denominator, we don't need to just write 15 as our denominator. And 10 minus 9 gives us 1 over uh, 15. So 2 over 3 minus 3 over 5 equals 1 over 15. So you can try this exercise, which is 13 minus 6 minus 4 over 3. Now let's take a look at the multiplication of fractions. To multiply fractions, we multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. Let's take a look at this example. Simplify 5 over 8 multiplied by 2 over 3. Solution now. You now, since if you are to multiply fractions, numerator will be multiplied by numerator and denominator by denominator. So 5 over 8 multiplied by 2 over 3 will give us 5 multiplied by 2 over 8 multiplied by 3. And 5 multiplied by 2 gives us 10. And 8 multiplied by 3 gives us 24. And to split that further, we have 5 over 12. You can still uh, work, uh, you can do this uh, exercise like 4 over 9 multiplied by 3 over 2. You can give the answer in the comment section. Now let's go to division of fractions. To divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction. Simplify 5 over 7 divided by 2 over 6. When we have something like this, the first thing to do is to write 5 over 7, and we have to change denominator to numerator and numerator to denominator. So now, our 6 at the denominator will now be at numerator, and the 2 at the numerator will now be at the denominator. So we have 5 multiplied by 6 over 7 multiplied by 2. And 5 times 6 gives us 30, and 7 multiplied by 2 gives us 14. So now, we have to simplify this further. How many 14 can we get in 30? It's 2, and it remains uh, 2. Now, we have 2 whole number, 2 over 14. Now, simplify this as an, as an exercise. Simplify 4 over 9 divided by 2 over 7. So you can leave the answer in the comment section. So 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more times and God bless.